So let's say Bipasha is having a box of 10 chocolates. Now she eats she eats two chocolates per day. If she eats two chocolate per day, in how many days it will be over? Number of days needed will be what? Five days. Box will be over. That's right. But now if the same box she is having 10 chocolates, she eats two chocolates per day, but John gives her one chocolate per day. So now what will happen? She is going to eat two chocolates per day, but she will get back one chocolate. But so overall just one chocolate per day will go from box. So in how many days? 10 chocolates. 10 divided by 1. So how many days? 10 days. Simply what was given. What all was given was if Bipasha eats 2 chocolates per day. John gives her 1 chocolate per day. Now, in the beginning she is having 10 chocolates. So if John does not give her, she will eat the whole box in 5 days. She eats 2 chocolates per day. John gives her 1 chocolate per day. So simply we can call it as she eats 2 John gives one, means from the box two chocolates go per day, one chocolate comes inside box per day. So from the box one chocolate gets out per day. So in how many days the box will be over, the number of days will be what? 10 days. Same is the concept of pipes. Some pipes can fill the tank, some pipes can empty the tank. Now the first question given here is, Pipe A alone can fill the tank in 30 minutes. Pipe B alone can fill it in 45 minutes. While C alone can empty the full tank in 20 minutes. Any time and work question or any pipes question, we always work with the speed that is what is the quantity filled per minute or hour or whatever. So let's assume full tank capacity is x liters. In 30 minutes, A fills, filling will be going inside, so we'll call plus, filling, and this is emptying, so we'll make it minus. In 30 minutes, A fills the complete tank x, so per minute is what? x by 30. B in 45 minutes fills x, so per minute is x by 45. C per minute fills x by 30. Sorry, I'm so sorry. C per minute empties in 20 minutes complete x liters. So per minute x by 20. So all the three together A will fill x by 30, B will fill x by 45, and C will empty x by 20. So we find LCM. 6x, 4x, 9x. All the three together per minute fill x by 180. In how many minutes? x. Number of minutes into speed per minute. So how many minutes will they need is 180. I repeat. A alone fills the whole tank in 30 minutes. B alone in 45 minutes. C alone can empty the full tank in 20 minutes. In 30 minutes, x liters, so per minute, x by 30. 45 minutes, x liters, per minute, x by 45. In 20 minutes, x liters emptying, it will take out. Per minute, it can empty, x by 20. All the three are open together. A will fill per minute, B will fill per minute. C will empty per minute, they will fill, so added, this will empty, so subtracted. 
all the three together in one minute fill one by x by 180 so in how many minutes they will fill x liters speed per minute into how much time this much capacity will be filled 180 minutes now as we know a alone fills the tank in 30 minutes b alone in 45 minutes c alone in 20 minutes this much time they fill the tank complete we assume capacity capacity can be anything capacity can be x liters one complete tank or for our smarter work we will assume capacity assume capacity LCM of the values 30, 45, 20 it's not the actual capacity it's LCM now why do we assume when we took capacity X finally we were required to find the LCM here so for smarter calculations we will assume capacity which is multiple of all of them not a rule but it will make calculations faster so LCM of 30, 45 and 20 so now when I say LCM 45 15 into 3 30 is 15 into 2 15 is already there we need 2 this is 5 into 3 into 2 5 is here sorry I'm so sorry 5 into 2 into 2 5 is here 2 is here and one more 2 so LCM comes out to be 1 not a rule to take LCM but it will make calculations faster in 30 minutes 180 liters so liters per minute 6 45 minutes 180 liters per minute 4 20 minutes 180 liters per minute 9 these values are symbolic because if I take 360 also answer will not change so simply you can take 1 we can take x we can take 180 we can take anything it's not going to affect the final answer so all the three together now A is filling, B is filling, C is emptying. All the three together, A will fill 6, B will fill 4, C will empty 9. Per minute they empty, sorry, fill 1. In how many minutes? 180. Answer is going to be 180 minutes. Now the question says here, A alone fills the tank completely in 36 minutes b alone in 45 minutes while c can empty the whole tank in 15 minutes filling filling and emptying we assume capacity we assume capacity which is multiple of all these values so what we can assume your capacity as lcm of 36 45 and 15 so now how do we get LCM if I start LCM is 36 into something 36 is 9 into 4 45 is 9 into 5 so I need 5 this is 15 into 3 sorry 5 into 3 5 is also there 3 is also here so LCM so if capacity is 180 liters per minute a fills 5 b fills 4 and c empties 12 liters per minute now the question says first a and b fill only half tank if full tank is 180 if full tank is 180 half tank is going to be 90 and who fill this 90 tank is A and B per minute A and B fill 9 
so in how much time a and b will fill 90 10 minutes together per minute they fill 9 so in how many minutes 90 10 minutes they are going to fill 90 liters now 90 liters is already filled what is given is now a continues with per 5 minutes 5 liters per minute B continues with 4 liters per minute and C starts emptying 12 liters per minute. A fills 5, B fills 4. So now all the three have started. Already tank is half filled. Question is, look right now, tank is half filled. Up till now only A and B were filling. So per minute 9 was going inside. So they filled in 10 minutes. Now C is opened. That AMT is 12 per minute. So if right now 90 is there, after 1 minute, what will happen is A will fill 5. B will fill 4 and C will empty 12 so means after 1 minute from 90 5 went inside 4 went inside and 12 came outside from this thing 90 was there 5 went inside 4 went inside and 12 came outside so means total 9 went inside 12 came outside so after one minute, per minute is three going to come outside. Per minute three will come outside. Question is in how much time tank will be completely filled or completely empty. Right now it's half. Half plus half becomes full. But now the tank cannot be filled. So only thing is possible is half tank is there we have to empty this half tank so that it becomes completely empty how to do it right now tank is having 90 liters now from this 90 either I fill 90 more or I empty 90 from the tank Per minute 9 goes inside, 12 comes outside. Negative is just representing that tank is going to get empty. Not writing, okay, let's say we write minus. This half is already filled in 10 minutes. Remaining half, I have to empty. Per minute 3 gets emptied. So in how many minutes 90 will get emptied? How many, how many minutes? 30. 10 minutes the tank was half filled remaining 30 minutes tank will be completely empty i repeat question was a alone can fill the tank in 36 minutes b alone in 45 minutes while c can empty the full tank in 15 minutes we assume the capacity let's say 180 liters a alone per minute 5 b alone per minute 4 c alone per minute 12 Question is first half tank is filled by A and B. If full tank is 180, half tank 90, only A and B. So per minute 5 and 4, 9. In 10 minutes they fill the half tank. Now half tank is already filled. 90 is already filled. Per minute A fills 5, B fills 4, C empties 12. So remaining is what? 87. 90 was there. Per minute 9 went inside. 12 came outside. So how much came outside is 3. Per minute 3 comes outside. So full tank is not a possibility. From half we empty complete half. So remaining will be 0. So that is possible. 90 is there. So in how much time all the three will empty this 90, negative signifies just emptying. 
Now what is happening is A is filling 5, B is filling 4, C is emptying 12. Per minute 3 comes out. So in how much time 90 will come out? 30 minutes. So total time is going to be 10 plus 30. Total 40 minutes. So now A alone fills the tank in 36 minutes. B alone can do, do the same in 60 minutes. So first part we assume capacity. As is discussed earlier capacity can be anything 1, x but calculations will be faster if we take capacity which is LCM of 36 and 60. 60 is 12 into 5 this is 12 into 3 so LCM is 12 into 3 into 5 that is 1. A alone in 36 minutes fills 180 liters so per minute A fills 5 liters B fills 3 liters. Now both of them are open together after let's say x minutes we stop a from filling so per minute both of them fill 8 so in x minutes they fill 8 also. now b alone fills the remaining tank in 16 minutes sorry 18 minutes per minute we have taken b speed 3 so in 18 minutes 54 so total tank 8x plus 54 tank is completely filled completely filled the capacity is 180 so solving it we get here is 8x equal to 126 x is 126 upon 8 that is 63 by 4 so that is 15 3 by 4 minutes. So after 15 and 3 fourth of the minute it can be A can be switched off. The question was A alone fills the tank in 36 minutes B alone in 60 minutes. What we always work is a alone in we take their LCM 180. Now if capacity is 180 per minute in 36 minutes 180 per minute 5. 60 minutes 180 per minute 3. Both of them are together filling. Let's say after x minutes we stop. Both are open together. After x minutes A is stopped. Per minute 8 so in x minutes they have filled 8 x always speed into time we get worked now b alone fills the remaining tank in 18 minutes per minute 3 so total 54 8 x plus 54 is full tank 180 8 x 126 so x is 63 by 4 minutes that is 15 3 by 4 minutes after these many minutes a should be Turn off. Now the smarter way could have been we find out A alone in 36 minutes, B alone in 60 minutes. We assume capacity LCM 180 per minute 5 per minute 3. Now at the end B alone fills for 18 minutes. So in last 18 minutes, B fills 18, 3 is 54. So by out of 180, in last 18 minutes, B fills 54. So before that, 126 was filled. Now who fills this 126 liters earlier is A and B together? I repeat, what we are doing is last 18 minutes, B alone. Per minute B does 3. So in last 18 minutes B did 54. 
total tank capacity we have assumed 180 at last b fills 54 so earlier 126 was filled and who filled that is a and b so a plus b per minute is 8 in how many minutes 126 126 upon 8 so how many minutes 63 by 4 total per minute is 8 126 I have to fill 126 upon 8 so A and B together should fill for 126 upon 8 that is 63 by 4 minutes together they should fill for 63 by 4 minutes after this much time A will not be needed I repeat A alone in 36 minutes 180 B in 60 minutes 180 per minute A5 B3 last 18 minutes is B alone so in last 18 minutes B does 54 now out of 180 at last B does 54 all your 126 was done by A and B together per minute A5 B3 together 8 per minute 8 in how much time 126 so A should be switched off after 63 by 4 minutes that is 15 3 by 4 minutes that is 15 minutes 45 seconds the question given here is pipe alone can fill the tank in 12 hours but pipe is filling and leakage is emptying it needs 15 hours let's say full tank capacity is LCM of 12 and 15 15 is 5 threes are 12 is 4 threes are 3 is already there 4 so LCM 60 now if tank is of 60 liters in 12 hour 60 per hour 5 together pipe filling leakage emptying 15 hour 60 so per hour 4 but out of that pipe filled pipe pipe fills pipe minus leakage is 4 so leakage per hour is 1 leakage per hour empty is 1 so to empty full tank 60 how much time will be needed 60 hours I repeat pipe alone in 12 hours full tank pipe minus leakage 15 hours full tank in 12 hours we assume capacity 60 if in 12 hours 60 per hour 5 15 hours 60 so per hour but how do we get 4 pipe minus leakage so leakage per hour is 1, capacity 60, so how much time will it need is 60 hours. Now the question here is, pipe alone can fill the tank completely in 4 hours, but because of a leakage, because of a leakage, it needs 10 hours to fill the tank, means pipe is filling and leakage is emptied it needs 10 hours to fill the same quantity leakage is just like another pipe which can empty pipe alone in 4 hours pipe minus leakage pipe filling leakage emptying 10 hours let's say we take capacity LCM of 4 and 10 we could have taken 40 also but LCM is going to be if I take 10 4 is 2 into 2, 2 is already there, so 20. If capacity is 20 liters, 4 hours 20 liters, so liters per hour 5, liters per hour 2. But now, pipe minus leakage per hour is 2, but pipe was filling per hour 5, so pipe minus leakage is 2, so leakage per hour is going to be 3 in how much time complete tank 20 I repeat pipe alone in 4 hours fills 20 liters we have taken LCM of them 20. in 4 hours 20 so pipe per hour fills 5 liters pipe minus leakage in 10 hours fill 20 liters pipe is filling and leakage is emptying 10 hours 
then they need to fill 20 so for r is 2 but out of that pipe fill 5 so leakage emptied 5 minus leakage is 2 so leakage empties per hour 3 so in how much time leakage will empty 20 liters 20 upon 3 that is 6 hours and 2 third of an hour that is 6 hours and 40 minutes all the three together in how much time sorry leakage alone per hour empties 3 full tank is 20 so in how much time it will empty 20 liters that is 6 hours and 40 minutes now the question given here is pipe A alone can fill the tank in 4 hours pipe B alone can do it in 6 hours but today when they were filling A was filling B was filling but because of leakage from the usual time they need 36 minutes so let's first try to find out what was the usual time if only A and B are there if only A and B are there we assume the capacity LCM of 4 and 6 so that is 6 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 so 12 if capacity is 12 liters A fills 3 liters per hour B fills 2 liters per hour and together they fill 3 plus 2 that is 5 liters per hour so they need 12 by 5 hours now the normal time is 12 by 5 hours that is 2 hours and 2 fifth of an hour 2 hour and 2 fifth of an hour that is 2 hours 24 minutes usual time needed is 2 hours 24 minutes and today they need 36 minutes more than that 2 hours 24 minutes plus 36 minutes that is 2 hours and 60 minutes 3 hours I repeat everything A alone can fill the tank in 4 hours and B alone in 6 hours a in 4 hours fills 12 liters we assumed it it's not going to affect 12 hours 4 hours 12 liters so per hour 3 liters b in 6 hours 12 liters so per hour 2 liters a alone 3 liters per hour b alone 2 liters per hour so together the two of them fill 5 liters per hour total they have to fill 12 liters so in how much time 12 by 5 hours means if no leakage is there just a and b are filling in 12 by 5 hours 12 by 5 hours that is 2 2 by 5 hours 2 hours and 2 fifth of an hour 1 hour 60 minutes so that is 2 hours 24 minutes that's the time they need if no leakage is there but because of leakage they need 36 minutes more today so time needed is 3 hours to fill the whole car today because of leakage the time needed is 3 hours so now let's check out furthermore we just now found out A alone could have done it in 4 hours, B alone could have done it in 6 hours, we combined them, we got let's say 12 capacity per hour 3 liters, per hour 2 hour liters, together the two of them will need 12 by 5 
that is 2 hours and 24 minutes that is A and B together but today but today A filling B filling and leakage emptying they need 36 more minutes more than that that is 3 hours to fill 12 means together they fill 4 liters per hour but out of that A fills 3 B fills 2 so leakage 5 they filled minus leakage is 4 so leakage per hour EMT is 1 liter to empty the full tank 12 liters they are going to need 12 hours let's quickly check out what we did A in 4 hours 12 liters B in 6 hours 12 liters so A per hour 3 B per hour 2 together the two of them fill 5 total to fill 12 without leakage they need 2 hours 36 2 hours 24 minutes today because of leakage 36 minutes more than this that is 3 hours A filling B filling leakage emptying in 3 hours 12 so per hour is 3 plus 2 5 minus leakage that is 4 A fills 3 B fills 2 minus leakage is 4 so leakage per hour is 1 to completely empty the tank 12 liters it will need 12 hours now the question given here is pipe A alone can fill the tank in 20 minutes B alone in 30 minutes while C can empty the full tank in C minutes let's assume the capacity as 60 liters 20 minutes A fills 60 liters so per minute is 3 liters here it's 2 liters and here it's 60 by C now person opened A and B he thought only A and B are open so his calculation was based on the thought that only A and B are open so he knows A fills 3 B fills 2 so per minute together they fill 5 to fill 60 how much time will they need how much time will they need is 12 minutes so A and B together per minute 3 and 2 total they fill 5 so in how many minutes will they fill 60 12 minutes in 12 minutes A and B should have filled 60 his calculation is based on assuming A and B were filling but he realized for that much time when he came back obviously he will come back after 12 minutes but what he realized was C was left open so means for 12 minutes A and B filled the tank but for same 12 minutes C was emptying the tank per minute C empty 60 by C so C emptied 1 minute 60 by C so for 12 minutes he emptied this now what he did was he closed pipe C and A and B were kept open for 4 more minutes per minute they fill 5 so in 4 minutes they are going to fill 5 fours are 20 now the tank was totally filled that is 60 so solving it we get what all we have got equation here 60 minus this plus this so we get solving it 720 by C equal to 20 so C equal to 36 minutes what the question given was here A alone can fill the tank completely in 20 minutes B alone in 30 minutes C alone can empty the full tank in C minutes per we assume the capacity to be 60 in 20 minutes 60 liters so per minute 3 30 minutes 60 liters so per minute 2 C minutes 60 liters so per minute 60 by C person thought only A and B were open 
so assuming that per minute fight he thought 12 minutes he should come back but when he comes back he knows for 12 minutes e1 c was empty per minute c empty 60 by c so into 12 this much it emptied now he closes pipe c a and b are open for 4 minutes per minute 5 so they filled 20 earlier this much was filled by a and b c emptied this much now a and b filled this much total tank complete tank we have assumed 60 so 720 by c solving it 60 60 getting cancelled so c alone can empty the full tank in 36 minutes now the question here was same question that right A alone can fill the tank in 20 minutes. B alone in 30 minutes. While C alone can, let's say, empty in C minutes. We assume capacity 60. So if capacity is 60 liters, A per minute 3, B per minute 2, and C per minute in 20 minutes 60 per minute 3, 30 minutes 60 per minute 2, C minutes 60. A person open only A and B, and he thought only A and B are there. So per minute five, so he knows in twelve minutes it should be filled. So we know person will come back after twelve minutes. Now what he realizes in. For 12 minutes, even C was empty. So now, what all C empties in 12 minutes? What he realized was, for that much time, C was empty. So what all C empties in 12 minutes? Only that much is to be filled, because otherwise the tank was completely filled. What all C emptied in 12 minutes? Only that much is to be filled, and for that much. he was required to open a and b for 4 minutes means what all a and b fell in 4 minutes the same thing c empties in 12 minutes i repeat when he came back after 12 minutes the tank should have been filled but he comes to know 12 minutes c was emptying now what all c was emptying in 12 minutes same thing a and b he was required to open for 4 minutes to fill the tank this what all c empties in 12 minutes a and b fill it in 4 minutes now full tank we know a and b fill in 12 minutes same full tank what all a and b fill in 4 c empties in 12 full tank a and b fill in 12 so c will empty in how much 36 minutes a alone fills the tank in 20 minutes b alone fills the tank in 30 minutes c alone empties the full tank in c minutes so what do we do in 20 minutes we assume capacity full tank 60 so per minute 3 30 minutes we assume full tank 60 so per minute 2 so now C empties in C minutes full tank so per minute 60 by C. He thinks only A and B are open. So A and B per minute five, so they should fill the complete tank 60 in 12 minutes. He is not aware that C is open. So when he comes back after 12 minutes, he realizes C was emptying for 12 minutes. Now what all C has emptied? That much needs to be filled back. For that, he left open A and B for four minutes. This what all A and B fill in four minutes. C empties in twelve. So what all A and B fill in twelve? C will empty in how much? C will empty in how much? Thirty-six minutes. And the question here is: three persons, sorry, three pipes A, B, C. Together can fill a tank in 15 hours. We opened all of them for 10 hours, so tank will not be filled. 
they will need five more hours to fill it but now c is closed and a and b fill the remaining tank in eight hours so now how do we do it here is we assume capacity multiple of all those values look capacity can be taken anything it's not going to affect but if we take lcm 15 15 is 5 threes are 10 is 5 twos are so we need to 8 is 2 into 2 into 2 1 2 is there so lcm is 1 2. if we take capacity lcm of these values calculation become faster abc in 15 hours fill 120 liters so per hour is 8 liters now all the three were open for 10 hours they were all open for 10 hours per hour they fill 8 10 hours they have filled 8 now out of 120 80 already they have filled in 10 hours so remaining is 40 so 40 was filled by A and B in 8 hours in 8 hours A and B fill 40 so A plus B is 5 liters per hour A plus B fill 5 liters per hour 8 hours 40 liters so per hour is 5 liters so now A plus B per hour is 5 a plus b plus c per hour is 8 so c per hour is 3 so in how many hours full tank 120 they are going to need 40 hours let's check everything what we did question was a b c all together in 15 hours full time we assume full time 120 15 hours 120 so per hour 8 they all were open for only 10 hours per hour 8 so in 10 hours they have filled 80 out of 120 80 is filled so remaining is 40 who fills this 40 a and b in 8 hours c was closed 8 hours 40 so per hour is 40 now a plus b plus c per hour is 8 a b per hour is 5 so c is the remaining value 8 minus 5 c fills 3 liters per hour to fill complete tank 120 is going to need 40 hours now there are so many ways of doing it let's check out one Once the concepts are clear, A, B, C in 15 hours, they fill the filter. Now, they were only open for 10 hours. So, obviously, what all remaining tank is there, remaining tank, A, B, C could have done in 5 hours, remaining time, total 15 hours, 10 hours, but the same remaining time A and B filled in 8 hours means what we know is what all ABC can do in 5 hours A and B does in 8 hours same capacity speed and time are inverse so means if speed of ABC is 8 this is 5 what all a b c do in 5 hours a and b do in 8 hours obviously remaining tank was for a b c of was of 5 hours but a and b did it in 8 hours means what all speed ratio is inverse means if a b c fill 8 per hour speed is inverse of time if ABC fill 8 per hour, AB fill 5 per hour, means C fills 3 per hour. I repeat, full tank ABC together could have done in 15 hours. They were open for 10 hours. So remaining tank 
remaining time remaining time a b c together would have done in 5 hours but they close c so a and b needed for same time 8 hours same capacity speed and time inverse so if time ratio is 5 is to 8 speed ratio will be inverse 8 is to 5 so if a b c fill per hour 8 a and b fill 5 so c will fill per hour 3 so what we get here is speeds ratio of a b c is to c speed ratio is 8 is to 5 so same work time ratio it's 8 is to 3 if a b c fill 8 a b fill 5 so c fills 3 so for same work time ratio will be 3 is to 8 means what all a b c does in 3 hours c alone will need 8 hours full tank ABC fill in 15 hours so this will need 15 into 8 upon 3 so that is what 14 hours I repeat ABC together in 15 hours fill the full tank they were open for 10 hours now pipe C was closed and A and B fill the remaining tank in 8 hours what all a b c fill in 5 a and b fill in 8 you never work with time we always work with speed same thing time ratio 5 8 so speed ratio 8 5 if a b c fill 8 liters per hour a and b fill 5 liters per hour so c will fill 3 liters per hour so if c fills 3 liters per hour a b c fill 8 so for same work time ratio will be inverse 3 is to 8 if a b c together need 3 hours c alone needs 8 hours if a b c together need 3 hours same work c alone will do it in 8 hours full tank a b c needs 15 hours so c alone will need opposite multiplication that is 40 hours now the question given here is a pipe alone can fill the tank pipe alone can fill the tank in 12 hours there is a leakage of 30 liters per minute and because of that pipe is filling and leakage is eating it needs 16 hours to fill the same tank now one method of doing it is assuming something now up till now what we were doing was assume the capacity so let's say but the problem is here leakage actual speed is given actual speed of leakage is 30 liters per minute so that is into 60 1800 liters per hour so we know the leakage speed is 1800 liters per hour leakage speed is 1800 liters per hour now leakage actual speed is given we'll keep it aside what all actual is given we'll keep it aside pipe alone can fill the tank in 12 hours but when pipe is filling and leakage is emptying it needs 16 hours to do the same alone in 12 hours together in 16 hours we assume let's say capacity is full tank is 48 liters we are just assuming that full tank is of 48 liters in 12 hours pipe fills 48 liters so how many liters per hour is 4 in 16 hours together they fill 48 liters so per hour is 3 pipe per hour fills 4 liters pipe minus leakage per hour is 3 now 3 is totally filled out of that pipe filled 4 so what is leakage pipe minus leakage is 3 so simply leakage per hour is 1 how do we use it now up till now what we did question said pipe alone can fill the tank in 12 hours but there was a leakage of 30 liters per minute 
सो पर आर एटीन हंड्रेड लीटर्स लीकेज पर आर एक्चुअल स्पीड इज गिवन विल कीप इट असाइड वॉट ऑल एक्चुअल इज गिवन विल कीप इट असाइड बट वेन पाइप फेल्स एंड लीकेज इन टीज इट नीड्स सिक्सटीन आवर्स टू फिल द सेम नाउ we assume the capacity to be 48 we don't know capacity is what we are supposed to find it 12 and 16 multiple 48 if full tank is of 48 liters pipe in 12 hours 48 liters so per hour four pipe filling and leakage emptying in 16 hours 48 same tank so per hour three but out of that pipe fills four so minus leakage 3 so leakage per r is nothing but 1 now how do we use it if if the assumed capacity is 48 liters then the leakage is 1 liter per r that's what we got If capacity is assumed 48, leakage per hour is 1 liter. But actual leakage is, but the actual leakage is 1800 liters per hour. So what is the capacity? Opposite multiplication into 48. So we get 18 is a 144, 14, 72 and 14. Repeat. What all actual is given? We skip it. Leakage 1800 liters per hour. We skip it because that is actual. Everything else will be working with us. If pipe fills in 12 liters full tank, pipe filling leakage emptying. It needs 16 hours to fill it. In 12 hours 48, so leakage per hour is 4. 16 hours 48, so leakage per sorry pipe minus leakage is 3. Pipe is four, so leakage will be one. If assumed capacity is forty-eight liters, leakage is one liter per hour. Now compare actual. Actual leakage is eighteen hundred liters per hour. What is the actual capacity? Opposite multiplication. That is these many liters. Now the other method possible here was lengthy but easy to understand. The method will be pipe alone can fill the tank in 12 hours. Leakage empties 30 liters per minute, so per hour will be into 60. Leakage is 1800 liters per hour. Now. and together they fill the tank in 16 hours so simply let's say capacity is x liters pipe in 12 hours x liters so liters per hour will be x by 12 in 12 hours pipe fills the full tank so per hour is x by 12 leakage per hour is 1800 leakage per hour is 1800 now question says they together fill the tank completely in 16 hours so when simply how we solve these kind of question initially how much was there initially it was 80 <coughs> sorry now for 16 hours Pipe fills. 16 hour leakage empties. At the end, the tank is completely filled. That is X. Initially, tank is zero. It is completely empty. 16 hours pipe fills per hour X by 12 into 16. Per hour pipe is X by 12 for 16 hours. Leakage empties for 16 hours. Per hour, 1800 into for 16 hours. At the end, it's completely filled. 
this is the easier way to understand but previous method was passed to calculate 4 by 3 x minus x 16 8 are 128 12 remaining 1 by 3 x is 28800 so x is 86400 what we did in this method this is easy to understand what we do pipe alone in 12 hours fill the full tank so let's say full tank is x liters in 12 hours full tank so per hour is x by 12 leakage empty 60 liters per minute so per hour sorry 30 liters per minute when it was opened the tank was empty so initially zero 16 hours pipe filled 16 hours leakage emptied at the end it's completely filled complete filled is x pipe filled leakage emptied we solve it so in this question this is going to be the easier way of solving it who fills how much is given that initially tank was filled and at the end it's emptied what we would have done is initially fill x plus filled minus emptied at the end this would have been the case if initially filled at end empty If it was given initially, it was half filled. Initially half. At end full, we would have done initially x by 2 plus what all is filled minus what all is empty equal to at the end it's full. But here in the question it was given 12 hours pipe completely fills so per hour x by 12 leakage 30 liters per minute so per hour initially it was empty at the end it's filled we got it now smart now smarter way is leakage actual speed is given keep it aside 12 hours pipe fills complete tank 16 hours pipe minus leakage fills the tank if capacity is 48 pipe per hour is 4 pipe minus leakage per hour is 3 so leakage per hour is 1 so if assumed capacity is 48 leakage per hour is 1 leakage per hour is 1800 what is the capacity now the question given here is pipe A alone can fill the tank completely in 30 minutes pipe B can does this can do the same in 45 filling filling while C can empty capacity is given C can empty 20 liters per minute and all the three together A fills B fills and C empties total in 3 hours that is total in 180 minutes they fill the whole find the capacity the question asked is find the capacity the smarter method is what all actual is given keep it aside pipe c can empty 20 liters per minute this is the actual speed is given we'll keep it aside let's say we assume the capacity to be multiple of all these values 30 45 and 180 let's say capacity is one a in 30 minutes fills 180 liters so liters per minute it's 6 B in 45 minutes fills 180 liters per minute is 4 while C in 180 minutes fills 180 liters sorry all the three together so it's 1 liter per minute but out of that A fills 6 B fills 4 C empty C 
so 10 minus c is 1 so c is nothing but 9 liters per what we got what we, the method is a alone question was a alone in 30 minutes fills the whole tank b alone in 45 minutes c's actual leakage speed is given 20 liters per minute and all the three are open when the tank is empty and together they fill it in 180 minutes so now how do we do it what all actually is given we skip it and we simply assume the capacity there lcm 30 45 and 180 lcm if tank is of 180 30 minutes 180 per minute 6 45 minutes 180 per minute 4 and all the three together 180 minutes 180 per minute a gets 6, B fills 4, so minus C is 1. So simply, if capacity, if capacity is 180, leakage or C per minute is 9. If capacity is 180, if we assume capacity 180, C came out to be 9 but actual c speed is what 20 liters per minute obviously if leakage is 9 capacity is 180 if leakage is 20 what is the capacity opposite multiplication so the capacity is nothing but 400 we skip actual one 30 minutes 45 minutes 180 minutes we assume capacity 180. If capacity is 180, A per minute 6, B per minute 4, A, B, C together in 180 minutes 180, so per minute 1. A fills 6, B fills 4, minus C. So C we come, we get 9. C we get 9. If capacity is 180, C per minute is 9. But actual C is 20 liters per minute, so what is the capacity? Now the smarter way what is saw, but the easier to understand. A alone in 30 minutes fills the full tank. B alone in 45 minutes fills the full tank. And C's actual speed is given 20 liters per minute. Let's assume capacity to be X. So A per minute X by 30. B in 45 minutes X. So per minute X by 45. C per minute is 20. Now all are open when the tank is empty. So initially it was empty 0. At the end of 180 minutes finally it's completely filled. That is full tank X. So 180 minutes A fills. 180 minutes B fills. 180 minutes C empties. 180 into x by 30. 180 minutes per minute x by 45. 180 minutes. 6x, 4x, x, minus x, 3600. So x is 400. What we saw here? A alone in 30 minutes full tank X so per minute X by 30 B alone in 45 minutes X so per minute X by 45 C 20 liters per minute all are open when the tank is empty 0 180 minutes A fills 180 minutes B fills 180 minutes C empties at the end it's completely filled so we get here capacity is 4 initially 0 initially 0 a 3 hours a fills 3 hours b fills 3 hours c empties finally x capacity this is easy to understand previous method was fast too. the question says here let's say this is the tank full tank of x liters Three pipes attach. A alone can fill the tank in 20 hours. B alone in 30 hours. 
and there's a leakage at half of the height this is the height wherein the leakage is there 10 liters per minute that is 600 liters per hour they are all started when the tank is empty initially zero and at the end of 24 hours tank is empty now we cannot say for 24 hours A fills, 24 hours B fills and 24 hours leakage empties. This is wrong. The reason is leakage is at half height. Leakage is at half height. So till the tank is half filled, leakage will never empty. So that's why half tank and remaining half times are different. Leakage will start emptying only when the tank crosses half height. So first half height is going to be without leakage then it's going to be with leakage. So now how to solve. A alone in 20 hours, B alone in 30 hours, leakage actual speed is given 600 liters per hour, it was given minutes we convert it to hour, this is actual so we keep it aside. Now all the three together they filled in 24 hours but first find out for let's say if the tank capacity is 60 we assume full tank is 60 so if full tank is 60 20 hours 60 per hour 3 30 hours 60 per hour 2 now till half tank leakage will not be there so half first half if full is 60 half will be 30 a and b will fill first half for r5 so in 6 hours half tank will be filled now total time to fill is 24 hours first half we need 6 hours so remaining time is for the second half second half who all are going to be there a b and leakage in 18 hours if full tank is 60 half is already 30 so remaining is 30 in 18 hours they together fill 30 so per hour is 30 by 18 a filling b filling and leakage emptying per hour we got 30 by 18 a fills 3 b fills 2 minus leakage 30 by 18 is nothing but 5 by 3 so leakage we get 5 minus 5 by 3 if capacity is 60 leakage per hour is 10 by 3 but actual leakage per hour is 600 so what is the capacity opposite multiplication what all we are going to get is I repeat what all we get. In the question is given A alone can fill the full tank in 20 hours B alone in 30 hours and there is a leakage of 10 liters per minute that is 600 liters per hour at half of the height. So leakage will start emptying only when the tank is half filled. So you cannot say all were working for 24 hours. First half was without leakage. Next half is going to be A filling, B filling and leakage emptying. So first half different time, second half different time. A alone in 20 hours fills the full tank. B alone in 30 hours fills the full tank. Leakage empties 10 liters per minute. That is 600 liters per hour. Actual we keep aside. 20 hours 60 per hour 3. 
30 hours 60 per hour too. Leakage is at half height, so till half height they both will fill. 3 plus 2, 5. 30 by 5 will get 6 hours. So half tank A and B will fill in 6 hours. Total time is 24 hours. Half already is 6 hours. So remaining half, second half, they need 18 hours. 18 hours, A is filling, B is filling and leakage is empty. So to fill 30, they need 18 hours per hour, 30 by 18. A filling, B filling, leakage empty per hour is 30 by 18. That is 5 by 3. Leakage per hour is 5 minus 5 by 3. So if complete full capacity assumed is 60, leakage assumed is 10 by 3. If leakage actual is 600 liters per hour, what is the actual capacity? 10,000 liters. In 20 hours, we assume 60, so per hour 3. 30 hours, we assume 60, so per hour 2. Leakage 600 liters per hour. First half tank only A and B will fill 30, full 60, so half 30. Per hour 5, so 6 hours. Total 24 hours, 6 are already gone. So for remaining second half, we need 18 hours. 18 hours 30, so per hour 30 by 18. A filling, B filling, leakage emptying, per hour is 30 by 18. A is 3, B is 2, leakage is total so leakage per hour is 10 by 3 if assume capacity is 60 leakage per hour is 10 by 3 if leakage is 600 now in the same question if we assume with x a in 20 hours x so per hour x by 20 we assume capacity to be x, actual capacity. B in 30 hours full tank x, so per hour x by 30. Leakage is 600 liters per hour. Total time is 24 hours. But first half, first half leakage was not there. So first half x by 2. A per hour plus B per hour, X by 20, X by 30, LCM, 5X by 60, that is X by 12. Per hour, X by 2, X by 12, in how many hours, X by 2, 6 hours. I repeat, up till now what we did, A alone in 20 hours, full tank X, so per hour, X by 20, B alone in 30 hours, per X, so per hour, X by 30, Leakage 10 liters per minute, so per hour 6 hours. First half, A was filling and B was filling, but leakage is at half height, so it's not going to be there. So separate time per hour x by 12, in how much time? Half tank x by 2, 6 hours. Now, 6 hours, half tank is already there. So now, half is already there. Total 24 hours, 6 hours gone. So now, now all are going to be working. 18 hours A will fill, 18 hours B will fill, 18 hours leakage will empty. At the end, finally the tank is completely filled, that is X. So, X by 2, X by 20, X by 30, equal to X. Let's try to solve it here. What we have done, let's first finish it off. So we get x by 2 plus 9 by 10x plus 3 by 5x minus x 10,800. Solving it, we get x is 10,800. The question given was leakage is at half height. A alone in 20 hours fills complete tank X, so per hour. B alone in 30 hours complete tank X, so per hour X by 30. 
लीकेज इज सिक्स हंड्रेड लीटर्स पर फर्स्ट हाफ टैंक ए एंड बी आर गोइंग टू फिल पर आर एक्स बाय ट्वेंटी प्लस एक्स बाय थर्टी दैट इज एक्स बाय ट्वेंटी टू फिल हाफ टैंक एक्स बाय टू टिल दैट टाइम लीकेज इज नॉट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सिक्स आवर्स फुल टैंक टाइम नीड इज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इन सिक्स आवर्स ऑलरेडी नाउ हाफ टैंक इज फिल रिमेनिंग टाइम एटीन आवर्स ए इज गोइंग टू फिल बी इज गोइंग टू फिल लीकेज इज गोइंग टू एम टी एट द एंड इज गोइंग टू बी एक्स so what is the value of x capacity of the tank is 10800 liters now the question given here is a monkey is climbing a pole monkey is here is climbing a pole 100 meters high first minute it goes up by 20 meters next minute first it goes up by 20 next minute it comes up down by 50 simply in first minute it goes up 20 second it comes down by 15 so that is at the end of 2 minutes it has reached 5 third minute it will go up 20 that is 25 fourth minute it will come down 15 that is 10 means after 2 minutes it has reached 5 after 2 more minutes it has reached 5 5 and 5 10 so now what if if we say in 2 minutes monkey goes up 20 comes down 15 so that is in 2 minutes it goes up 5 meters in how many minutes will it go 100 meters Two minutes, five. How many minutes? Hundred. Now this answer is going to be wrong. This answer is wrong. Now why this is wrong? In this question, what we are doing is, monkey once it reaches hundred, it is going to come back. It will go up, come back. Finally, it goes and comes back. for this question that is the answer 40 minutes but the logic is once monkey reaches the top it does not come back so simply after how many minutes it will reach the top for the first time so how to solve these kind of questions now let's say if the pole height is only 30 meters in how many minutes monkey will reach the top first minute it will go up 20 second it will come down 15 that is 5 third minute it will go up 20 so that will reach 25 fourth minute it will come down 15 that is 10 fifth minute it will go up by 20 so it will reach the top 30 meters if the height is given 30 meters it will reach the top in 5 minutes now how to solve it total height 30 maximum to maximum in 1 minute monkey can go up 10 meters sorry 20 meters if total height is 30 maximum in 1 minute monkey can go up 20 so if any how mo moment monkey reaches 10 meters in the next minute it will go up 20 meters that is 30 what we know is it goes up 20 comes down 15 so in 2 minutes 5 meters in how many minutes 10 meters luckily 10 is multiple of 5 up down up down twice now in 4 minute it has come down to 10 up down up down in the next minute it can go up 20 so it will reach the top that is 30 meters simply if the pole's height was given 30 meters how do we solve it we written everything in first minute 20 up next minute 15 down third minute 20 up 
फोर्थ मिनट फिफ्टीन डाउन नेक्स्ट मिनट ट्वेंटी आप टोटल डाउन इजी वे वॉज इफ द टोटल हाइट इज थर्टी मंकी इन वन मिनट कैन इजीली गो अप ट्वेंटी सो द रिमेनिंग हाइट टेन मीटर्स सो इफ एनी हाउ अप डाउन अप डाउन इफ मंकी गोज अप फाइव मीटर्स टू मिनट्स फाइव मीटर्स इन हाउ मेनी मिनट्स टेन मीटर्स फोर मिनट्स नेक्स्ट मिनट इट गोज अप ट्वेंटी सो वी गेट थर्टी सेम वे टोटल हाइट ऑफ द पोल इज हंड्रेड मैक्सिमम इन वन मिनट मंकी कैन गो अप ट्वेंटी सो इफ एनी हाउ बाय डूइंग अप डाउन अप down if it reaches 80 in next minute straight forward it will reach 100 cycle is going up 20 coming down 15 so in 2 minutes monkey goes up 5 meters we will not do 100 any how how it will reach 80 meters 2 minutes 5 meters First, we need to check: Is it 80 multiple of 5? Yes. 2 minutes 5. How many minutes? 80. Up down, up down. So total 32. In the next minute, so it, it can easily go up 20, and it will reach the top. So in the 33rd minute, monkey will reach the height of 100 meters. How we solve these kind of puzzles? The logic is simple. The moment monkey reaches the top, simple question was: In hun, a monkey goes up twenty, comes down fifteen. One minute it goes up twenty, next minute comes down fifteen. In how many minutes it will reach the top? Hundred meters. If we do two minutes five, in how many minutes? Hundred. 40 minutes we are solving the answer for the question means even after reaching the top it slips down goes up slips down finally goes up and slips down to top 100 no this is the wrong answer how to solve it then simple logic of the question is the moment monkey reaches the top 100 it is not going to slip back and in one minute maximum monkey can go up 20 So from hundred we subtract twenty eighty. This anyhow by doing up down up down. If monkey reaches eighty, next minute straight forward it will reach hundred. In one minute it goes up twenty. Next minute comes down fifteen. So in net two minutes it goes up by five meters. In how many minutes will it go up by eighty meters? Two minutes five. How many minutes? Eighty. Thirty-two minutes. Sixteen times up down. In the next minute, monkey can straight forward go up twenty and reach the top. So answer is exact thirty-third minute. Monkey will reach the top. Now the next question given says here: A monkey is going a pole eighty-four meters high. In one minute it goes up twelve, next minute it comes down five. So net in two minutes it goes up seven meters, up twelve, down five. So net in two minutes seven meters. How many minutes? Eighty four meters. Again the wrong answer. What we are doing is after touching the top, it comes down, goes up, then comes down. This is the wrong answer. What we know is total height is eighty four, and maximum to maximum in one minute monkey can go up. So means if anyhow monkey reaches seventy two, next minute straight forward it will go up twelve and reach eighty four. But the cycle of monkey is going up twelve, coming down five. So in net two minutes, five me sorry, seven meters. Two minutes seven meters. We don't know how many minutes eighty four. 
now if it reaches 72 next minute it will reach 84 but monkey will always follow multiple of 7 2 minutes 7 4 minutes 14 6 minutes 21 8 minutes 28 now 72 is not multiple of 7 nearest multiple of 7 is 70 so we cannot take 72 we find nearest multiple of 7 7 tens are 7 so monkey in 2 minutes goes up 7 meters it has to reach 84 in 1 minute it can go up 12 so but 72 is not multiple of 7 nearest multiple of 7 is 7 2 minutes may 7, how many minutes may 70, answer is 20 minutes. 2 minutes 7 meters, how many minutes 70 meters, answer is 20 minutes. Next minute monkey can go up 12. It has not reached the top, top is 84, height is 84. In 20 minutes we got 70 21st minute it has reached 82 it is not top so next minute it will come down in 22nd minute it will come down 5 minus 5 7 in 2 minutes 7 how many minutes 72 not multiple of 7 so we took multiple of 770 next minute it goes up 12 not top so next minute it slips down so easier way is if 72 was not multiple of 7 the next multiple we should have taken after 72 before 72 is 70 and next is 77 so what we can do here is Final logic what we work out. Monkey goes up 12, comes down 5, goes up 12, comes down 5. So in 2 minutes it goes up 7 meters. How many minutes? 84. Maximum in 1 minute it can go up 12. Not multiple of 7. If it's not multiple of 7, rather than taking previous, take the next. Next multiple of 7 is 77 2 minutes 7 how many minutes 77 answer is 20 it has at the end of 22nd minute it has reached 77 in the next minute it can easily go up 12 so answer is in the 23rd minute even if the height is 89 then also it can reach in 23rd minute it reaches top. But if we need the exact answer, if we need the exact answer, 2 minutes 7, how many minutes 77? Minus 12 we took. Next multiple of 7 after 72. In next 1 minute, monkey goes up 12 meters. Height is 84, already it has reached 77, it must, just needs to go 7 meters more. In 1 minute, monkey can go up 12 meters, it has to go just 7 meters. So how much time will it need? 7 by 12 minutes, that is 35 seconds. We knew in 23rd minute, it is going to be... 12 meters up so even if height is 89 it can reach in 23rd minute but if exact answer we need it's 22 minutes it has reached 77 next one minute it can go up 12 meters it just needs to go 7 meters 7 by 12 minutes so exact answer is 22 minutes and 35 seconds it will need to reach the top now 
the question here is there are three pipes pipe a pipe b and pipe c pipe a alone can fill it in 60 pipe b alone can in 90 filling c can empty it in 45 now how do we do it is we assume let's say capacity lcm of that 180 so per minute 3 liters per minute per minute 2 and per minute now they are open for one minute each in the cyclic manner first minute a will fill three second minute b will fill two now in the third minute c will empty four that is one so means at the end of three minutes we get one liter in the tank in three minutes together first a goes fills three then b fills two then c empties four so in how many minutes 180 liters in three minutes one liter in how many minutes one simply question is a alone in 60 minutes full time b alone in 90 minutes full time c alone in 45 minutes full time let's say capacity is 180 per minute a fills three per minute b fills two per minute C empties 4, first minute A fills 3, second minute B fills 2, 5, third minute C empties 4, so in 3 minute tank gets 1 litre inside, in how many minutes? 180 litre. The question has just like become like monkey, let's say the question becomes monkey is going, going up a pole of height 180 meters, first minute it goes up by 3, second minute it goes up by 2 and third minute it comes down by 4. So simply maximum to maximum together it can go up 5. Means anyhow if it reaches 175 up down up down if it reaches 175 next minute 3, next minute 2 it will reach 5. So that's how we do it. In three minutes, first minute three goes inside, second minute two goes inside, four comes out. In three minute tank gets one liter. In how many minutes? One seventy five liters. Five twenty five minutes. Up up down is just like now. In the next minute, A will fill three. Next minute, B will fill two. So total in 527 minutes tank will be completely filled but even if we take 174 next minute 3 next minute 2 it's not filled c will empty 4 but after 175 in next two minutes it will be filled what we did pipe a alone fills the full tank in 60 minutes Pipe B alone fills the full tank in 90 minutes. Pipe C, A alone completely filling 60 minutes. B alone in 90 minutes. C alone in 5 We assume the capacity LCM 180. In 60 minutes, 180 liters, so per minute 3. 90 minutes, 180 liters, per minute 2. 45 minutes, 180 liters, per minute 4. First, A will fill 3 then B will come, cycle is given first A, then B, now C empties, so finally we get 1. So in 3 minutes, they fill in all 1 litre, but we don't do it 540. 540 is the wrong answer, this is the wrong answer, because this is just like after filling again C will empty. So how do we solve it? It's just like monkey first goes up 3, then goes up 2, then comes down 4. Filling 3, then filling 2, then emptying 4. So net in 3 minutes it's 1 litre. In how many minutes? 180. Maximum to maximum it can go up 5 together. So 180 minus 5 
so if anyhow 175 is filled next two minutes tank will be filled three minutes together first a then b then c in three minutes they do one liter how many minutes 175 now next minute a will come fill three next minute b will come fill two and completely filled so answer is 527